All right, guys, so I'm going to give you some advice and recommendation for using the automation software that we use for Facebook. So the very first thing that you need to do after you download the Google Chrome extension is you need to clear your cache and your cookies and your browser. This is going to help prevent you from having problems with the software. So what you do is go to the three dots at the top right corner of Google Chrome and click on it. And you're going to scroll down to settings right here. And then you're going to go to privacy and security. You're going to click on delete browsing data. And then everything in basic needs to be checked. And then everything in advance needs to be checked. This is going to delete past save passwords, cache, cookies, okay? Any data that you have saved in Google Chrome Web Browser automatically is going to be uh, deleted. And the purpose of doing this is so that you don't have anything stored. No cache is stored, all right? And then you're going to click on delete browsing data. Once you do that, you're going to close Google Chrome and then reopen it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to manually log into Facebook. After you log into Facebook, you're going to get a notification. Do you want Facebook to allow notifications to be shown to you? Make sure that you don't ignore this message. You don't exit out of it because you need to allow this setting in your Google Chrome web browser. So always click allow. So you're going to click allow. And then what you need to do is go to your site settings. So you're going to go right here where it says Facebook.com. You're going to click on this right here where it says view site information. Click on that. And as you see, the notifications has been enabled. Now what you need to do is go to site settings right here. Click on it. And now we need to scroll down to clipboard. right here and we need to always allow the clipboard to be on what this is going to do is it's going to copy the uh, message segments or message group that you created it's going to be there's always going to be copied to clipboard in facebook messenger that way it can automatically send the people so you're going to click on this and then click allow okay now, the settings that I had you go to, site settings, is going to open up in a new tab, as you see right here. Now, what we need to do is go back to Facebook. So, we're going to go to the Facebook tab that's already open right here. And as you see here, it's telling you that you need to reload the page. Reload this page to apply your updated settings on this site. You need to make sure that you reload the page. Otherwise, the settings are not going to be saved and take into effect this is very important so you're going to click on reload and it's going to automatically refresh or reload the page you see that now from this point all you need to do is log into the automation software so you're going to go to it in the google chrome extension and then you're going to put your login credentials right here All right, once you log in to Friend Connector Pro, exit out of here, and then you're going to go to a Facebook group that either you're a member of or a group of, that you want to target. To use this software, guys, you do not have to be a member of a group. You can still you, you can use this in any group that you want. You want to make sure you go to the People section here, then scroll down to Members with Things in Common. This one right here, this section here, click on see all. It's going to show you all the members of the group who have things in common with you, like location or friend, mutual friends. 
I'm going to refresh the page. Then you scroll down, it's going to share with you everybody, people that you can potentially send an automated friend request to. Okay. So you go to the Google Chrome extension and there's tutorials on how to set everything up. I'm not going to cover that right now. Okay. So what I want to do is tell you guys that if you're going to be away from the computer, you want to run this. You want to make sure you set this at five or nine minutes. If you're going to be gone from the computer for a while, then I recommend setting this at nine minutes. Okay. And then put in the number of friend requests that you want 20, 25, 30. Don't do more than 30 a day. If you're using, if you plan on using a brand new Facebook account, then if you're planning on creating a brand new Facebook account, what I would do is I would start off with about 10 a day and then do that for about a week. And then after the first week, the second week, you want to scale up to 15 and then do that for a week. And then the third week, scale up to 20. Okay. And then the following week, scale up to 25 or 30. Okay. But you want to start slow because you don't want Facebook to put you in Facebook jail because Facebook does not does not like when you send a whole lot of random friend requests and messages, especially with a brand new Facebook account. You want to appear as being a human being uh, with the software. The software is is the automation bot, but you want to appear to Facebook to be. Uh, using human behavior and Facebook already knows when you're trying to do something too fast in a short period of time, they already know that you're more than likely being robotic or you're using a robot. Okay. So you want to appear to be like human, normal human behavior. Okay. So like I said, if you're planning on using this with a brand new Facebook account that you created, you want to select nine minutes, and do 10 a day, do that for about a week. And then after a week, kind of scale up a little bit. Don't go too fast. Don't go from 10 to 20, 25, 30 in two, three weeks. You need to slowly scale up. Don't try to do it too fast, okay? Because we want to keep your account safe. So if you're using an A's account that you've had for a long time, I would start off with like 20, and then after a couple of days or after a week, scale up to 30, okay? That's what I recommend because I want to make sure your account is safe. And then you guys already know how to do the rest of this stuff, so I'm going to turn my filters on. Make sure you select Tier 1, especially if you have a uh, opportunity where uh, you're in Tier 1 countries because those are the countries that have the most disposable income and make the most money. And then you already know how the keywords work. So I'm going to select a message group and then I'm going to add my keywords here. So we're going to type in coach consultant. We're going to type in SMMA social media marketing agency. I don't want to target those people. Uh, I don't want to target anybody in Forex, any traders, trading, okay, um, Bitcoin, crypto, uh, what else? I do not want to target, who else do I don't, I, I don't want to target. Um, that's pretty much basically it. I don't want to target anybody in um, these niches because my business is not related to anybody in these niches. Okay. So you can put whatever you want for negative keywords and the people that have these keywords in their bio section in their profile, the software is going to skip. All right. So I'm going to set this. I'm going to do a couple. Let me actually scroll up. I'm going to do this at auto 30 to 60 seconds. And we're going to set it 
set this to two frame requests. And uh, it's pretty much ready to go. When you set everything the way you want it, just click the run button so that it saves the settings and then you have to refresh the page. So we're gonna do that now, I'm gonna click run. See that you have to refresh the page, the settings are saved. So we're gonna refresh the page. We're gonna go back to the software and then turn it on. See, as you see, my settings are saved here, everything that I set up and you're gonna scroll down we're going to click stop and then we're going to click run to turn it on okay as you see it's running now i was already running this software in this group i already know it's not going to send her free requests and messages because of her profile her privacy settings but that's fine the software is basically going to go down until it can actually send somebody a friend request and then it will also send them a message now, keep in mind with the Facebook end-to-end -end encryption, sometimes it does not allow you to send an automated message to people, but that's why it's very important that you follow up with people once they do accept your friend request. They're going to check you out. They're going to check out your profile. Or they're going to see what you're all about. Nine times out of ten, you're going to have to reach out to the person if the message doesn't go through, you're going to have to follow up with them, build some rapport, build a connection with them, and see if they can benefit from whatever it is that you have. Please do not start pitching people right away, okay? Do not do that. That's a turnoff, okay? You want to add value, build a conversation with people. Now, we do have a five-message script that you can use. If you're part of our group, if you're part of our community, our team, you get access to that on how we how we actually follow this script to close people in what it is that we're doing. So if you're interested in that, you can reach back out to the person who shared this video with you. But I just want to give you guys a guide. And the reason I'm sharing this is because people that is referring this software to people they don't actually tell you how to use it and i got this information directly from support of the company so you need to make sure you do all the steps that i shared with you you need to make sure that you clear your cache in your browser for google chrome and then you need to go to site settings here and make sure that your clipboard is turned on as i shared with you scroll down here to clipboard okay and you need to make sure it is turned on. Actually, this, this is privacy and security um, features, which is fine. And clipboard, you see how it's on allow? It's going to be defaulted to ask if you want the clipboard to be turned on. You need to make sure you click on this and select allow. Otherwise, the clipboard is not going to be turned on. Okay? So I hope this helps. This is going to help maximize the performance of the software. So you guys take care. Have a great day.